my friends, today is the day that we set off on this journey together, this journey of greatness, this journey to turn the Denver Nuggets, yes guys, the Denver Nuggets into NBA championship, not just contenders, but winners. That's the ultimate goal raised to win an NBA championship. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a prologue episode before the fire starts dropping on September 25th of 2015. Because I'm going to tell you guys, this series, I'm looking forward to it. You all voted for the Denver Nuggets. Like, uh, you know, we've been voting for, for probably about the past, like, two months or something like that. So this is the team everybody wanted to see. You know, we didn't want to do, uh, we didn't want to be too mainstream to do, like, the Lakers or somebody like that. Because a lot of other YouTubers will be doing that. So we're going to keep it fresh. And we're going to do these Denver Nuggets. And it's going to be a challenge, guys. So I thought for this prologue episode, uh, we would just kind of go over the team, go over our expectations, and kind of see where we want to go moving forward into the season before we start making moves. I really want your guys' opinion, I'm telling you guys straight up, every single episode, I need you guys all in that comment section below telling me what to do, because we are a team here, guys. This is Team Crispy right here, and we're going to get this team going. So... This, uh, this team's very interesting. I mean, especially out west where there's a lot of competition, it's very hard to set yourself apart. I mean, every team seems to have some sort of all-star, superstar caliber point guard. So uh, when you look at this team, I have the contracts pulled up right here. Um, you know, the contracts are not great. There's really, we're not tied up too much. Uh, there's a few big contracts out there. You know, maybe some guys are looking to move. Uh, let's just let's go up, up and down the list with all these players here and see what we got. Let's actually start backwards and move up to the top. So uh, we got Jameer Nelson. I don't actually think he has a guaranteed contract yet, so nothing's shown there for that. Uh, Jameer Nelson's a fine point guard and everything. I mean, he's really been past his glory days since he was on the Orlando Magic. He did all right on there back when they had, like, Dwight Howard. He was actually an, an all-star one year, I believe. So, uh, you know, he's, he's a loose piece. Maybe he has some trade bait, trade him to a contender. A guy that we don't really need on this team, but if he does stay on the team, you know, he'll be a backup point guard. Uh, we got Darrell Arthur, who's not really found his niche in the NBA quite yet. He has no guaranteed contract either, so we'll see about that. Uh, Pablo, Pablo Prigoni, dude's about 55 years old now. So, you know, if you touch him the wrong way, he's probably going to turn to dust. But that's all right, man. He's got a very cheap contract. Uh, Nick Johnson, Eric Green, Joey Dorsey, Nikolo Javik. Uh, you know, they got some smaller contracts. Maybe some filler guys for some trades, stuff like that. Uh, Gary Harris, who's actually a shooting guard from Michigan State. I actually do like his game quite a bit. So I might actually look to develop him a little bit. Uh, back when he was on State, he was a very good shooter. And he could drive to the basket and whatnot. So he's definitely a guy that could probably stick around. Although, you know, go blue on Michigan fan. As you guys are going to see in my, my career series. Uh, we got jo Joffrey. King Joffrey. Is that for, is this like Game of Thrones? Uh, he's not going to get no play in time. Uh, Jusof Nuk Nukovic. Ugh. Blech. No, <laughs> yeah, ain't gonna do much either, man. That's what I'm saying. This team, uh, not a lot, not great. You know, there's not a lot going on here, and it's kind of like our sandbox. It's our playground to hopefully make some moves and you know, hopefully bring some sort of star here. Maybe you know, if it's just an all-star, man, like we gotta do something. Um, now let's start at the top here. We got Danilo Gallinari. He's out. He's only got one year left on his contract here. He actually had a pretty ridiculous contract, and he really has not panned out so far. I mean, when he does play, he shoots the ball. He shoots the ball very well, and um, you know he's definitely got a nice shooting stroke off there. He hit that three ball. He's kind of like uh, not really a stretch four. He's not really powerful enough to be a stretch four, but you know maybe as a, as a small forward. I don't see him starting out this team going forward. You know like. Maybe starting off when we can't find any trades he can start. Uh, but he's been very injury prone too. So maybe even a guy we can inju we can include in a deal because he got that 11 million expiring contract. So that might be a trade asset or, you know, show some trade value to other teams out there. Then we got the manable Kenneth Fareed. You know, he can get himself some double doubles. But that contract right there, that's, that's a lot of money, man. For four years, uh, you know, all of them over 10 million, all the way up to 14 million pretty much throughout four years. Uh, I don't know what the long-term thing is with the Manable. Maybe he'll stick around. I think he'll definitely stick around for a little bit. Unless some sort of ridiculous trade is available for him, then maybe we'll look to move him. Oh, uh, Wilson Chandler, I actually like him as a player, too. I think he's very underrated. He can shoot the ball well. He can slash to the basket, play solid defense. Uh, but you're not going to win no championship with him. That's the thing about this team. You don't really have any players that are going to lead you to the promised land. It's almost like you have to bring those guys in yourself to really have any chance. Uh, then we have J.J. Hickson, who's been in the league for quite a few years. Now, he does all right out there. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, Kostop, Papa Luka, blah, 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 blah. He was on the Rockets. Never really played much for them. Maybe a development player we can see about that. Will Barton, Randy Foy. You know, Foy's actually got a decent jump shot, so he can actually bring some firepower off the bench. Uh, Will Barton, probably going to look to get rid of that because he's got $3.5 million for the next three years. He probably won't even play much. And then... We come down to our first overall draft pick, Emmanuel Moudier, out of France. 
this guy I've heard good things about, man. I've heard that he's supposed to be like a Russell Westbrook-esque player out there. So we'll see about that. I mean, like if he can slash to the basket, if he can get a jump shot developed, then hey, this guy's uh, ceiling is really, you know, the sky's the limit with this guy. So he's a guy that will stick on the, around this team. I think that's gonna be my one uh, my one rule is that I will not be training Emmanuel Moutier. You know, he's on the thumbnail, guys. So once you're on that thumbnail, man, you stick around for a bit. So uh, we'll definitely look to see if we can utilize his talents, really develop him into the player he is uh, set to supposed to be. I don't know much about him. You know, there's not a lot of footage on him or anything. So I'm actually gonna check out some YouTube highlights myself and see what Emmanuel is all about. But anyway, guys, this game, you know, it's, it's September 19th. This game is coming out in less than a week. So, I need you guys to tell me in the comments section below, what kind of moves should we make? Um, how realistic should we keep this series, man? Like, is it anything goes, you know, like if we find a trade for, uh, heck, LeBron James, do we bring him in or do we keep things pretty realistic? What do you guys want to see? I'm open to any ideas, man. Uh, I, th I think what I really want to focus on is kind of get, is to get a solid, uh, you know, because Manable can probably play the four for a bit. I really don't like that he doesn't have much of a midi out there, so he can't really shoot, which kind of hard, which kind of, uh, hinders yourself in today's NBA um you know I'd probably like to bring in a decent backcourt mate with Moutier and maybe even try to trade a guy like Gallinari for a better small forward I don't really know like there's a lot of different moves and also we have no center guys our center game is weak as heck I'm not saying we need like freaking Andre Drummond out there but heck I want to see something so anyway guys I hope you guys are looking forward to the series I know I am hope you all have wonderful day wonderful day watching this video please remember to subscribe have a good one my friends peace out Thanks.